What's up everybody? I'm back with another roller coaster review. Um, these next couple are going to be pretty quick um, because they're both like candy, kitty slash family style coasters. Uh, first one was, again, all we've done all the suspended coasters. We did Banshee, we did Bats, we did Vertigo, now we're doing Flying Ace Aerial Chase. Another Vacoma suspended coaster that was added to the park uh, during the Paramount days. Uh, these are notorious, I guess, for being very big headbangers. As far as getting a lot of headbanging on, on our experience, eh, we'll, we'll, go, we'll get into that. It was a little bit, there was a little bit of it. Um, first off, a little bit of a rant on its fast lane location. Uh, it's just a staircase, and I don't know why they don't market it more. Because we had a waiting line. Luckily, it wasn't that long of a line. It does run one train. Um, there were a lot of families that wanted to come ride this. A lot of people that wanted to come ride this thing. Um, it does have a nice, beautiful color scheme, the red and the, the not the red, the orange and the yellow. Um, but yeah, it's not a whole lot of a ride experience. All you do is go around uh, and do a little bit of uh, loops and stuff like that. It does pick up some good speed uh, uh, throughout the ride for it being a family coaster and stuff like that. Uh, I got a front row ride on it. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, you get the invert, you get the little spins and stuff like that. Uh, now let's talk about the headbanging, though. Um, before we talk about the headbanging, let's talk about the ride presentation. Again, nice color scheme. Uh, definitely stands out when you're looking above on the Eiffel Tower, and you can look at the kids' area. And it definitely stands out as the high, literally highlight attraction. It looks like a freaking highlighter went over it. Uh, and you're, you get to stand underneath the ride when you're standing in line and stuff like that. Um, and if it wasn't for the shade coverings, you get pretty good off ride footage. We didn't need off ride footage. It was a family coaster. You know, it's kind of just irrelevant and kind of stuff like that. But uh, and it kind of just loops around on itself. Um, it was pretty fun. But it runs one train operation. It's got a front row ride on it. Um, for the most part, I didn't think the head banging was that bad. Um, you know, compared to, I mean, we had just been in Vertigo. So it was, you know, on that same level if not a little bit less because it does go slower and, and stuff like that it wasn't the classic Bacoma track profiling that you get on the boomerangs and the SLCs and stuff like that um near the end of the ride though it was one of this was the point we were coming down and we kind of turned to the left and we jolted over to the left and I I had my tongue out I was like that I don't know why I don't know why I had my tongue out but I was like like that okay and I had my tongue out like this and I was going and then we go over to the left, right? And we, I go, bam, next, slam straight into a restraint, my, the restraint on the right. And it goes, bam, and my mouth shuts right on my tongue like this. And it hurt like hell. Oh my God. Uh, thankfully my tongue didn't bleed. Um, but I guess if that's what considered, I mean, it was definitely head banging. That was the strongest point of head banging on the ride. And really the only point that hurt. Um, the rest of it was pretty tolerable. You know, it was, nothing, it was nothing to write home about uh, as far as a ride experience. But, you know, we got the credit, and then we had to go. So, it's kind of one of those coasters, you know, you want, yeah, it's kind of coaster enthusiasts, get the credit and leave. If you're not, if you're only in it for the big rides, skip it. Um, but, no, it does have a fast lane if you want to ride, if you want to ride the, if you want to ride it with fast lane for some reason. I don't know. It has a staircase. I mean, it's a little hard to find. Um, but, no, for me, that it does exist. So, my final score for it, I mean, it's a family coaster, the head banging, probably just going to get a four, going to get a four out of ten for me. The thrills weren't that high, but it's good for the kids. Uh, it's good for families, good, you know, you start out with Great Pumpkin Coaster, and then you go to Flying Ethereal Chase. It's a nice step up uh, sort of thing if you want to try the inverted mile, because the, you know, Kings Island does have the other three that I've already talked about, so... It's a good good coaster for that. It's a good coaster for uh, families who are looking, you know, to ride with their kids and stuff like that. Um, just just be warned. Be warned of the tongue biting turn. Do not stick your tongue out on the ride. I don't know why you would do that on any ride. I, I'm a pretty unique character when it comes to riding coasters. So, but anyways, guys, that is uh, my review of Flying Ace Aerial Chase at Kings Island. The next coaster review uh, is going to be a little bit short as well because it's a family coaster. But I wanted to do reviews of these. Um, there, there are clones of these at other uh, Paramount, former Paramount, now Cedar Fair Parks, Carowinds, King's Dominion, uh, California's Great America, Canada's Wonderland, all those. Um, so if I do ever get to go ride those, I probably won't do reviews on those and them again uh, because they are the same thing. And that's going to be kind of a theme for some of the other coasters that I will talk about uh, later on in these later on. Um, so just stay tuned for that. But 
If you've ever ridden this coaster or any models like it, any cologne, I think colognes, clones of it, uh, let me know about your experience on the comment section down below. Am I being too generous? Am I being too harsh? Who knows? Uh, we'll have to find out from the phone and some more experts. So, but stay tuned for much more amazing content, including more coaster, coaster reviews. We have four of them done now. We've got nine left, so stay tuned for those. Until next time, I'll see, see you guys later. Goodbye.